multiplication multiplication is repeated addition the short way of finding the sum when all add ins are the same is called multiplication 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 10 here 2 has been added 5 times we write 2 5 times is 10 in short form we write it 5 into 2 is equal to 10 each of the numbers 5 and 2 is called a factor and the number 10 is called the product properties of multiplication property 1 order property of multiplication if the order of the factors is changed the product does not change for example 4 into 5 is equal to 4 fives that is 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 which is equal to 20 5 into 4 is equal to 5 fours that is 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 which is also equal to 20 property 2 grouping property of multiplication if the grouping of the factors is changed the product does not change for example 2 into 4 into 3 Is equal to eight into three. Is equal to twenty-four. Change the grouping and write two into four into three. Is equal to two into twelve. Is equal to twenty-four. Therefore, two into four into three is equal to two into four into three. Property three. Zero property of multiplication. If zero is one of the factors, the product is zero. For example, zero into four. That is, if zero is multiplied by any number, the product is zero. So, zero into four is equal to zero. Seven into zero. That is, any number if multiplied by zero also gives the product as zero. So, seven into zero. Is equal to zero. Similarly, two into three into four into zero also gives the product as zero. Property four. One property of multiplication. If a number is multiplied by one, the product is equal to that number. For example, eight into one is equal to eight. That is, a number when multiplied by one. Gives the number as the product. One into six is equal to six. That is, if one is multiplied by any other number, it also gives the product as six. Property five. Multiplication distributes over addition. Let us see an example to understand this property better. Multiply five into twelve. To make this multiplication easier, the bigger number. Can be split into two numbers. That is, five into ten plus two. Now multiply five separately by the two numbers. That is, five into ten and five into two. Now we get the product as fifty and ten. Add both the numbers fifty and ten to get the final product, which is equal to sixty. Multiples. The product of two whole numbers is a multiple of each factor. You also know that two into zero is equal to zero. Two into one is equal to two. Two into two is equal to four. Two into three is equal to six. Two into four is equal to eight. Two into five is equal to ten. Thus, we get the numbers zero. Two, four, six, eight, ten. The products zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, obtained on multiplying two by the whole numbers zero, one, two, three, four, five, 
are called the multiples of 2. The multiples of 3 are 3 into 1, 3 into 2, 3 into 3, 3 into 4, 3 into 5 and so on and the products are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and so on. The multiples of 4 are 4 into 1 which is 4, 4 into 2 which is 8, 4 into 3 which is 12, 4 into 4 which is 16, 4 into 5 which is 20 and so on. The multiples of 10 are 10 into 1 which is 10, 10 into 2 which is 20, 10 into 3 which is 30, 10 into 4 which is 40, 10 into 5 which is 50 and so on. An easier method to multiply a given number by 10. Put one zero on the right of the given number. For example, 2 into 10 is equal to 20. To multiply a given number by 100, put two zeros on the right of the given number. For example, 2 into 100 is equal to 200. To multiply a given number by 1000, put three zeros on the right of the given number. For example, 2 into 1000 is equal to 2000. Similarly, if you have to multiply by 10,000, put four zeros on the right of the given number and so on. Multiplying by one digit multiplier. When you want to multiply 4 into 5873, distribute the large number into 5000 plus 800 plus 70 plus 3, which is expanded form of the number. Now multiply each number by 4, that is 4 into 5000 plus 4 into 800 plus 4 into 70 plus 4 into 3. We get the product as 20,000 plus 3,200 plus 280 plus 12. Add all the products. The answer is 23,492. Multiplying by two digit multiplier. Let us see an example. Multiply 57 by 39. Split the second number as 30 plus 9. Now multiply 57 by the first number that is 30. 57 into 30 is equal to 1710. Then multiply 57 by the second number that is 9. 57 into 9 is equal to 530. Now add the sum of both the multiplication that is 1710 plus 513. We get 2223. Multiplying by 3 digit multiplier. Let us do an example with a word problem. One table fan costs rupees 348. Find the cost of 475 fans. Solution Cost of 475 table fans is equal to 348 into 475. The second number can be split up like this. 400 plus 70 plus 5. Now multiply 348 by each split up number. 348 into 5 is equal to 1740 348 into 70 is equal to 24360 348 into 400 is equal to 139200 Add all the three products to arrive at the answer that is 139200 plus 24,360 plus 1,740, which is 1,139,200.
65,300. The cost of 475 fans is equal to rupees 1,65,300.